Thanks for joining us on our journey tonight. I'm Felicity Eziwike. Our coverage begins in New York, where President Bola Tinubu has called on Nigerians living in the diaspora to come back home and invest in the country. This was as he met with the diasporan citizens in New York at the sidelines of the United Nations General Assembly. New Centro's Amadine Uyi reports. The session organized by the Nigerians in Diaspora Commission was with members of the Nigerian community from across several sectors in the United States. Some of the professionals took time to introduce themselves to the president and the field where they work. I do, we have an association with the NYPD called the African Law Enforcement Organization, but this all happened to be Nigerians here, so. Uh, I speak to kids in school, but they need to finish their education so that when they grow older, they can all become change makers in their own countries. Yes, yes. But in 2018, I co-founded one of the first black-owned venture capital firms in the United States of America, the first one in the state of Minnesota. And we've been having great success. We've invested in over 30 companies, all of them led by people of color. We've invested in several members of the Nigerian diaspora. The most important thing about representation is not just who's in the seat, but how their community improves once they're in their seat. Because if my community doesn't improve, I shouldn't be in the seat. That's right. So, I help develop Nigerians to run for office. I help them when they're racist. But more importantly, I understand what our community needs, money. 25% of business owners in this country are black, but 1.7 of them get federal contracts. Those are opportunities that my mother could have used to stop being an engineer and become an educator. Those are opportunities that can scale Nestables to be the biggest banking company in New York. President Bola Tinubu commended them for their exploits in the United States, urging them to change their mindset about the country, saying Nigeria is now open for business. I once was in diaspora, and I was here. So, no matter what you think you're going through, I've been through it. <laughs> Change of mindset is necessary. That's right. That's right. Let's be consensus tonight that Nigeria is a home for business and opportunity. He urged them to return back to the country and contribute to the development of the nation. We need you back home. Nigeria has arrived. Forget the frustration of previous years of leadership. I commend the effort on the out-of-school children, the health care program, the need to eradicate poverty. Sincerely, we have no reason to be poor. Sure. We are just poor and some leadership areas. Yes. President Inubu assured the diaspora and citizens that the current government will not fail in its responsibilities. Amadin Uyi, reporting for News Central.